Victor from Atascacita has a question about AC mildew. It's actually a tenant issue at a rent house of his, Tom, where they have the thermostat set at 76, but it never gets under 80. So Mm. Victor writes, the AC exam that the technician came out and performed says the system checked out fine. It's three tons for an 1,850 square foot house. I bleached out mildew from the registers back in February when he's getting the house ready, he says, but Labor Day weekend, the tenant said it feels hot, the floor's buckling, trim is separating from the walls, and she has to clean mildew off the registers and windowsills now. Could this be caused by AC? You can see, he sent this picture in here, you can see where the supply line seems to be causing condensation along the hardy plank. Well, you got a lot of issues here, but the, we have to look at the main issue. The main issue is this. You set it at 76, it doesn't go below 80. Right now, there's a problem. Now, maybe the equipment is running fine. It's undersized, to be honest with you, as far as three tons for 1,800 and some square feet. So it should be at least a four-ton unit. But as far as that goes, or three and a half, but it's just it's too small. The bottom line is this, is it's not working right. Does this contribute to these issues? It very well could be. As far as on the outside on the hardy, it sounds to me like the refrigerant line isn't insulated properly, so it's sweating. So that's number one. Is that causing you these major problems? No, but it's unsightly and it's not making the hardy look very good. Number two is the floors are buckling, the humidity's too high. You can get a hygrometer cheaply over at Walmart and just find out what the relative humidity is in the home, and at least you'll have an exact number. You want it below 60%. It sounds like it's not getting there as far as that goes. Mildew on the registers, that's going to happen once in a while. Usually that's a sign that the attic isn't insulated very well or it's not insulated around that uh, box behind the sheetrock, and that might need a little of attention. But that's not going to be a major problem as far as making the house a mess. It's not getting past 80, and that's your problem. If you had an air conditioner that would get down to the temperature you wanted, then maybe all these things would kind of disappear, but they're not the problem. The problem is it's undersized, and it's not doing what it needs to do. And here's my last comment, because just in case you're trying to cool the house off or feel more comfortable by leaving the fan motor on the on position, stop that. That will make problems like this happen big time. It always has to be on automatic. Most of the time I say that, Charlie, people say, oh, I would never put it on on. But I still have to throw that out there just in case. Sure. Well, I mean, if you have a Nest thermostat, it's almost impossible to put the fan on without the system running. Um, But in this case, it doesn't sound like it's a Nest. So, Tom, is the answer for this either replace the system or maybe add a mini split somewhere to make up for the lack of... uh, system capacity quite frankly i think the the i would replace the system i think it it, because it's a smaller system and have somebody go in there and really double check to see what the ton tonnage is of the condensing unit what the tonnage is of the uh, evaporator coil kind of really look at it you know we get uh, absolute comfort air to do second opinions sometimes maybe it can be tweaked Maybe the person that's coming out there is a friend of a friend who's coming out. He says, yeah, my gauges look okay. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, But I can tell you this. If you have a technician, a repair person come out, and he knows that it's set at 76 and it's not going below 80 and he says everything's fine, you don't have the best uh, person to give you the best information because comfort is the key not, hey, my gauges show me this. That doesn't mean mm-hmm. anything. So obviously you called that absolute comfort air. If nothing else, for a second opinion would be your next step. Yeah, if you want happy renters, I'm a renter down here in Brownsville. If my air conditioner wasn't working, one time it went out, My, I have a wonderful landlord. She had the guy out the next morning. Boom, it's running great. He found capacitors that were going bad and stuff like that. He changed it all, no questions place i get it down 70 degrees in brownsville man when that's I working bed, i'm <laughs> nice and cold under those covers i like it <laughs> you you got a question no matter where you are no matter how cold you, you want it we can help you out visit homeshoradio.com fill out that ask com form and uh, send it in we'll put out a video to answer your question like we've answered so many more and if you're watching this one we appreciate it. if you haven't subscribed please do and if you would if on youtube go ahead and click the like button that helps us out 